Hey, habari, anyong, ayop. It's Eli here with Alba Salix Season 2, Episode 6. We are up to our season finale, and... Okay, fair warning, this one gets a bit intense. So, uh, brace yourself. Check the show notes if you're concerned. In the meantime, I've got some people to thank starting with our wonderful cast who made us laugh and cry in the booth and made this series a joy to record. Thanks also to our amazing special guests this season who were a total blast to record with. We love you all so much. Thank you to our fabulous sponsors this season, and thank you to all our generous and lovely donors on Indiegogo and Patreon for making this all possible. Thanks to everyone who's helped spread the word on social media, given us a review, told a friend, drawn fan art, just dropped us a line to let us know you enjoyed the show. It is really our pleasure to make these stories for you, and we're so looking forward to the next season. I say we, uh, but thank you to my partner, co-producer and co-writer Sean, who has really pushed me to you know, go bigger and bolder with our stories this season, and who has provided so much support day in and day out. So thank you, Dia. And finally, uh, one more kind of unexpected thank you. So my computer pooped out last week. Uh, it just went, screen went dark, wouldn't start up again, and made for some extremely panicked moments. Luckily, it was all backed up. And even more luckily, our housemate Stephen got me up and running on his old laptop so I could complete this here episode. So Stephen, you rock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Get ready. It is time for episode the sixth, the dramatic finale to Alba Salix season two. Enjoy. <laughs> Hear us, Keeper of the Red Scepter! Hear us, Guardian of the River of Souls! Hear us now! Who summons me from my realm? It is I, Queen Parabel of Farloria! Molten puppies! Never been summoned by a queen before. Hear me, oh! I got a duke once, uh, wizards, merchants... An elderly couple who stumbled upon a magic lantern, but never a queen. Hear me, oh demon! For hell's sakes, call me Aten Aben. So you're Queen Parabel. And who's this one? Uh, I'm just here helping out. With Rome Lee. (laughs) Well, I'll be danged. You used to call on us guardians all the time. You and that Alba Salix girl. (laughs) That was us, yeah. Which means you must be Parabel Salix. Right? Yes, I am. If we could get down to business. Yeah, it's all clicking into place now. All right, lay it on me. I am with child. Nice. Congrats. Alba tells me the child will be a boy. Yeah, it's looking that way. Which would make him heir apparent and void our enemy's claim to the throne. The moment they learn a crown prince has been born, his life will be in mortal peril. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. But you have power over destiny. I can push the world towards one future or another. If you wanted a girl, you should have talked to me before you went and got all preggers. Well, what good are you then? Mr. Lee, couldn't you have summoned me a proper demon? Oh, that hurts. Oh, it was short notice. Everybody's booked up on the full moon. It was this guy or Savonogog, the goddess snails. Ugh, unbelievable. Send him away. Now, hold on. Let's think this through. Magical power runs in your family. Yes. Look at you. Look at your sisters. So what if I told you I could make your kid the most powerful wizard alive? How powerful? Powerful enough that no one can harm him. Your boy shall have all your magic, all the magic of your whole bloodline put together. I can make him so powerful that the land of his birth shall never fall to its enemies so long as he lives. What must I do? (laughs) Parabel? Parabel, what are you doing in the storeroom? Are you all right? I'm fine. I I just need to... Parabel? I think I'm... Oh, no. I think I... I might be having the baby. Really? You 
you don't say. No, but I'm, I may have done something awful, Loki, Shh, breathe. Focus on your breathing. Well, if you're going to have a baby six months early, at least you're doing it somewhere with plenty of clean towels. Please, if you have to choose between me and the baby... Don't you dare even say it. Save the child, Melba. Breathe. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> it looks like I'm just in time. A nobbin? Alba Salix. I was hoping I'd see you here, too. It's been forever. What in all the hells are you doing here? Oh, I thought that would have been obvious. I'm here for the baby. Ahem. <laughs> By appointment to the king and queen, Alba Salix, Royal Physician, Volume 2. <laughs> Episode of the Sixth. Signed, sealed, delivered. Holly! Ow! The stones are trying to kill me! Well, that's what you get for animating them. Ow! I'm not a creme brulee! Damn it! Ow! <laughs> don't you start to. I don't care what the pot said. All you pants get back to the stove. I have a ladle and I know how to use it. Now let's taste that soup. Ow! Oh, why, you nasty little... Let me taste your soup! Thanks. Ow, ow, ow! It's hot, it's hot, it's hot! Hold on to it! Mm. Mm. Hey, this isn't soup. It's just hot water with some onions in it. The knife stole the rest of the ingredients. They've been hoarding them all in the top cupboard. What? Why? How should I know? Stupid knives. <gasps> Sorry, I mean, very nice, shiny knives. They're all super great, and I think we should be friends. Whoa, look out! Plates it coming! We're surrounded. Noobles, plates. What are you doing? I don't know, maybe they like music. What's wrong? Was it something you wish? I don't think they like music. Let's back away slowly. We'll be back on track in just a second. The royal physician has gone off to look after Parabelle. She has everything under control. What on earth? Magnus? Holly, what is this? We're having some minor technical issues in the kitchen. Magnus, make them stop. Why are there forks and knives following you? See, that's a long story that hopefully I will live to tell you later. <laughs> nice cutlery. Come on, you wouldn't hurt the one who brought you to life, would you? <sighs> <sighs> I would never hurt the baby. I'm simply escorting him to his new home. Be gone, demon! Go ahead. <laughs> Hit me with your best shot. Atnaben Diabolum! Atnaben Exeus! Atnaben Epigore! <laughs> Somebody a bit short on power? Is this your doing? I am only following Her Majesty's wishes. Parabel? He promised my son would be the most powerful wizard alive! And he will be! But you can't just create that much power out of nowhere. It's much easier to borrow from the family, as it were. You've given all of our power to the baby? Yep. That's too much for one person to handle. You're endangering him and everyone around him. You didn't tell me any of this. You didn't ask. And now you're here to take him away? He's going to be quite the star back home. You promised he would be the defender of Farloria. Mm, nope. I don't recall saying anything about Farloria. I believe it was, the land of his birth shall never fall to its enemies so long as he lives. But we're in Farloria. Yes, but shh. That's our ride. <laughs> The child will be born in my kingdom! It's pretty nice as Hell Dimensions go. Good neighbors, spectacular scenery, warm all year round. He's gonna love it. Come on, let's go! What's happening? Dear me! 
It's quite the storm out there now, isn't it? I should say it is. It's lifting us right into the air. Oh, dear. Carabel, has anyone seen the Queen? Darling, where are you? No, Your Majesty. Oh, everyone, try to grab onto a wall. Make your way up here to the stage so you don't get hit by the furniture. Hold on to each other for safety. Magnus, you didn't magically animate the whole building, did you? Are you kidding? I barely managed to levitate some knives. Which nearly killed us. Your Majesties, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Welcome you aboard this non-stop flight from Granville to the hell dimension of Quatox. Please stay seated. Keep your souls on the floor. You may experience some turbulence as we make our ascent. See? He said hell dimension. We're being stolen away by demons. I've got nothing to do with it. Then why have your eyes gone red? The kitchen was kind of smoky. Glowing red. Whatever. You've been drinking too much moonshine. Oh, sorry, you're floating two feet off the floor. And what? Whoa. What the hell? I told you, I think you're possessed or something. Ha! How cool is this? I wonder if I can fly. <laughs> Ow! Magnus! Okay. I'm okay. Just stuck to the wall, apparently. I, I say, this is a bit more exciting than the Jackalope Sanctuary fundraiser. What? Magnus! What did you do? I swear, it wasn't me! It is done! Just like that? Yes. All that remains is for you to await the birth. Good. Good. So, uh, are we all done here? Just one question. Yes, so oh demon. There's a boy lying in the bushes. There's... What? Uh, no. I thought you said you hit him. I did. I can sense his body heat. Who is this? Uh, the kid? Oh, he's nobody important. <laughs> I already made him forget what he saw tonight. And you're absolutely sure about that? If Alba finds out... What's this about Alba? Oh, uh, nothing. I... Would you... Care for a sacrifice? Would that help with the baby's destiny? Uh, no, no! If Magnus goes missing, Alba's gonna start figuring things out. Does this boy work for her? Uh, he's her apprentice. Is he really? And she's the royal physician now, yes? Yes, yes, she is. Well then, this should work out perfectly. Yes. When it comes time for the baby to be born... Uh, Young Magnus here shall assist with the delivery. Seriously, all I did was float some ditches. I can't fly a whole building full of people. Try it, though. Maybe think about veering to the left? Veering to the left. Veering! No. Oh. No, really, really concentrate on it. All right, all right. Jeez, Magnus, are you okay? Oh, okay. Maybe you're right. It feels like I'm being pulled through the air towards something, but I can't control it. Holly, it's... The second I try, it's like I'm being stabbed in both ears. Okay, okay, deep breaths. Oh, man. Stay put. I'm going to find Alba. I'm stuck to this wall. Where am I going to go? I mean, besides hell... So, why don't you just transport her to your dimension? Why fly a whole building all the way across the planar convergence? In style, my good woman. You don't have the power to do it yourself. I'm flying the building, aren't I? Are you? Not long now. We should be crossing out of this dimension in just a few minutes. How's the patient? The patient will see you burn in your own hellfire. She's fine. Excellent. Still a good while between contractions. Can't have the baby arrive until we're safely on Terra Inferna. So my child will be king in hell? Oh, yes. My home country to begin with. But with his power, we could rule whole continents. And what's to become of me, then? Parabel! Parabel, are you in there? Gunther! Parabel, I'm coming! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. This simply will not do. 
Oh, my. Darling, you're safe. Gunther, run! Why? What's going on? The witch is right. We can't have the husband present. Who on earth are you? Explain yourself, sir. Am I right, Alba? Men. They always think they can handle it. And halfway through, they faint. Just like that. <laughs> uh, Gunther! Uh, no! Gunther! What have you done to him? He's just asleep, probably. What does it matter? That is my husband, the King of Valoria, father of my child. And no harm will come to him if you behave yourself. Yes, of course. He's breathing. I told you. Hmm. His Majesty's pupils look normal. I think he'll be all right. Well, that's something. Alba. Holly. What's that? Nothing. Who are you talking to? No one. Just myself. Clearly this tense situation is getting to me. There better not be anyone out in the hall. Hmm. I could have sworn I heard something. I told you, it's just me and the voices in my head. You talk too much. We do, don't we, Parabelle? We're so very talkative. Very, very talkative. What's that supposed to mean? It would be very good indeed, and... Help people. <gasps> if you were to get hold of your tongue. What? Do you think I should have been the quiet and dutiful little girl while you lectured me at every turn? Both of you be quiet. I'm just saying, Parabelle just has a tongue like a viper. It's practically poisonous. You're one to talk. I won't ask you again. Blame her and her poisonous viper tongue. One more word and I'm going to chuck your beloved king overboard. Understood? Mm -hmm. You got it, Alba. We're on the case. Today, 10 to 10.15 a.m. Stop in at Florist to change order for centerpieces. 50 orange viper tongue blooms. Florist? Apologize to them for last minute change, but make request top priority. When did I even put that in the calendar? What's up, babe? Nothing. Just another new appointment I don't remember making. Spooky. Like when it told you to buy an umbrella? Yes! And I wish I had. I got drenched without one. So just to be clear, you got a piece of rock possessed by a dead guy. I have a prescient outsourced presence who tracks my schedule. And fills it with random things. Only occasionally. And they've been very useful random things. Now you're all, trust Leon, he's always right. I thought you liked him. I'm just saying, you better not leave my tally wrong, Mr. Rock, or you're going to be paving a road. Got me? I strive for reliability and accuracy. Is that everything in the calendar, Leon? No further events. I've cleared your schedule in case of further contingencies. Good. This gala is going to be the end of me. You're going to be fine. You got this. You always do. No swan boats. No swan boats. You're going to be amazing. Thanks, love. See you tonight. There's a ton of paperwork coming down, so I'm probably going to be a bit late. Save me some wine? I will. No swan boats. No swan boats. Everyone, please calm down. Let's not jump to any hasty conclusions. Yeah, exactly. The reason I am stuck halfway up this wall is because of a rare equilibrium between the aerostatic forces and the fabric of my robe. Wait, wh what's wrong with your eyes? Nothing. I am simply tired from cooking, and so I am keeping my eyes shut so that they can rest. He's in league with the demon. Ah, uh, yes, yes, out the window with him. No, guys, listen, I'm pretty sure I'm the only thing keeping this building from crashing to the ground. Everyone, I need your help. Where are the king and queen? Are they safe? They're in the back. Alba's with them. And the demon? He's got them in the storeroom. <gasps> But Alba figured it out. All we have to do is gather up all the flowers from the centerpieces. What? They're called viper tongues. Of course. That's what they were for. Yes, everyone, please gather up the orange flowers and give them to Holly. No! Get those things away from me! Shoo! Some of our guests have been sneezing all night. So, do these cause more severe reactions in demonic species? Exactly! We're gonna smoke this demon out, everybody! Which I'm feeling a little bit conflicted about. I mean, we're healers. We're not supposed to harm anyone, but he is doing very bad things. I think we can safely make an exception. Six hundred and sixty-six souls in a bag. Six hundred and sixty-six souls. You're not singing. Take one down, thrash it around, and... Bless you. Very funny. 
<laughs> What's that smell? What smell? I smell flowers. <laughs> oh, what is going on? <laughs> This is some kind of trick. It's probably just the catering staff. They've been having a lot of trouble in the kitchen. The witch! What have you done to me? I haven't done anything. Liar! You took all my magic, remember? Tell me what is happening! Oh, dear. You're going a bit purple. Are you cold? Yes. I'd say it looks like APF. Which is? Acute pyrostatic failure. A dangerous condition for a demon. Your core temperature is plummeting. You poisoned me. Did I? Have I left this room? You are passing messages to your staff. And all that talk about poison and tongues. It was code. This is some kind of toxin, isn't it? You demons really have to be careful when you leave your home dimension. It's freezing cold up here. You're going to pay for this. Oh, no. You will not touch my sister, Arabelle. Out of the way, queen. Surely you wouldn't do anything to harm the baby. I could do a lot to you without harming the baby. Besides... I intend to claim custody of the child once he's born. And I can only do that if he's an orphan. Why, you loathsome creature! No, <laughs> it's called How to Get Ahead in Hell. If something's getting in your way, destroy it. In fact, let's start right at the top. It's been a good reign for old King Gunther, hasn't it? <sighs> He's probably not going to rate more than a page or two in the history books. But who knows? I guess that's a question for the scholars. No! Damn it! I might not have magic, but luckily we're locked up in a storeroom full of chairs. Get away from me, human! Oh, is somebody short on power? Which? I will throw you in the Dungeon of Thorns myself. A few centuries there should rid you of that smugness. That's another symptom of APF. Your body's Lugosi cells are shutting down. You're out of power too, Aunt Nobbin. Yes, demon. How does it feel? <laughs> nice swing. Thank you. Good heavens, did we really just... Knock out a demon? Yes. Yes. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 we should tip him overboard before he causes any more trouble. I'll do it. Stay here. I'll be back in a minute. Alba. Be careful. Did it work? Yes! Yes, it did. Thank you, Holly. It wasn't just me. Miss Piercy ordered the flowers, and you gave me the idea to use them, and everybody else helped me gather them up. Help me open the back door. You're going to... Oh, oh my gosh! Yes, I am. And we need to do it fast. If we cross into the infernal plane, he's going to start regaining his strength. Okay. Oh, gosh! Be careful, Holly! It won't do you any good, you know. What won't? This building is still on course. Even without me, it's going to fly all the way to the pits of Quake Talks. <laughs> Sorry, Alba. Your sister's boy is still going to be born in hell. Maybe, but at least he won't be raised by you. <laughs> Are you all right, Alba? Better. I'm going to look after Parabelle. Can you head back to the ballroom and tell our guests what's happening? Not yet. I've got a job to do. What job? Where are you going? I'm going to turn this carriage house around. Your what? Holy, no! Holy! It's okay, Alba! I've got this! Is everyone all right? Hold on! Magnus, what's happening? I don't know! You guys! It's like something's trying to push us off course! Ah! Come on! You can't fight! The Queen of the Wind! So, how's it looking, boss? It's definitely some kind of Quetoxian magic. Your body is being pulled toward our destination, whatever that is. If I had my magic, I might be able to dispel it. Yeah. Demons kind of suck, you know. For a minute there, it was like something was fighting me, trying to push us back. It was like we flew into a hurricane. Yes. And then it just stopped. Yes. 
Was that Holly? It was. Oh, damn it. I hope she's okay. I mean, she's a crazy fairy who eats too many weird mushrooms. But she's just a better... everything than me, you know? I know. That's where you're supposed to say, no, no, you're brilliant, Magnus. You're getting there. You always had great potential. <laughs> so much for that, eh? The sky's starting to get red. Yes. We're getting near the convergence. Oh, boy. They basically eat humans, don't they? It's not going to be a warm welcome. Oh, man. I made it. Is everybody okay? Holly! Holly! I'm sorry. I couldn't turn the building around. The demon magic is too strong. I'm sorry, Alba. You did what you could. So, I got a question for you, Holly. What? Listen, do you think if the building wasn't flying, do you think you could carry it or bring it down safe at least? You mean... Like, if I wasn't here. Magnus. I think I could probably land the building, but I... Okay. Good. But what about you, though? Where are you going? Well, see, this beam I'm stuck to? The bricks around it are starting to fall apart. A couple of good kicks and it'll probably come loose. That makes sense. It would have been easier for Otnobin to attach you to a beam than a whole building made of different materials. But... But then you'll be flying off to hell. By yourself. Better than all of us. I'll grant you that. Magnus, you can't! Hey, we gotta do something. I figure it's gonna get pretty hot in here soon. It, it's going to be so quiet around the House of Healing, you know. Ah, uh, you guys will be too busy to notice. And hey, you got Minister Piercy now. She's a laugh a minute. Because I, I know we fight and get on each other's nerves a lot, but now and then I... Yeah, we do okay. We do good in the world. The team that heals together, right? Right. So, Alba, go ahead. Say it. Say what? Go to hell, Magnus. <laughs> You're a better person than I was at your age. Whoa. Was that praise? I'm not dreaming, am I? All right. There's not much time left. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I can do this. I'm gonna... Uh, Holly! Jeez! I'm not crying. You're crying like a dumb human boy. Yeah, that's me. Take care of yourself down there. We'll find a way to get you back. I'll be fine. I'm always good. I mean, hey, I fought with bandits and dragons, and I got trapped in limbo once by an angry goddess that I managed to get out of there. Hell is going to be a piece of cake. Limbo? Yeah, long story. Tell you later. Okay. Everybody hold on tight. We're going to try a thing here. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I don't think we crossed over. Yay! Is the queen all right? Oh, let's hope so. Everyone, we should make our way outside. Oh, dear. That's a nasty cut. If you're able, please help out anybody nearby who needs it. And watch out for debris. Keep the pressure on it. I'll come back around. I, I say, is this hell? I don't think they have birds in hell, dearest. Oh, I didn't realize you'd been. I haven't. Not yet. My fellow Farlorians, I have good news. Queen Parabelle and her new baby are alive and well. Huzzah! I'm afraid we don't have a name yet. He arrived a little earlier than planned, but he's certainly a good size. And quite vigorous. 
It's probably safest if nobody goes back there. Mr. Preston, can you please check the guest list and, and see who's unaccounted for? Is the way to the kitchen safe? Hopefully some food survived the trip. Minister, you've been on your feet all night. Get some rest. Oh, but things need to get organized, and we'll have to find some way to get a message back to Granville, too. Oh, goodness. Gloria. And Talia Piercy, have a seat. Doctor's orders. Yes, Alba. Perhaps I'll just mm, lie down for a minute. What about you? Never mind me. Lady Cranian. Oh, no. That's broken, isn't it? Hold it steady. Sir, could you look for some cloth and something to use for a splint? I'm going to go and check on Her Majesty and her little one. Wish me luck. Well, then, I suppose the next question is... Does anyone know where we are? In Signed, Sealed, Delivered, Alba Salix Volume 2, Episode 6, you heard Barbara Clifford as Alba Salix, Julian Sark as Magnus, Olivia John as Holly, and Elaine O'Neill as Antalia Piercy, with Marisa King as Queen Parabell, George Birtwell as King Gunther, Hugh McLeod as Aten Aben, Mbula Enobong as Loria Berenice, Abbas Hussein as Withrow Lee, and special guests Braden Lamb as Leon Stamatis, Alexander Danner as Edgar Preston, and Sarah Golding as Lady Joan Wood. Written and directed by Eli McElveen and Sean Howard. Music and sound design by Eli McElveen. Associate producers Michael Hudson, Jack Peavy House, Paul Tedesco, Kay Kokanda, Heather Collins, and Julian Sark. Supporting producer Kim Bellinger. Executive producer Dave Addison. If you enjoy the show, check out our Patreon. Donors get weekly bonus content, early access to episodes, and an invite to our wonderful fan community on Discord. Look for the Patreon link at albasalix.com. I just wish there was more I could do. Alba, you're doing so much already. I know. You just work on getting your magic back. Huh. Magnus and I will be back before you know it. I'm sure I'll meet some helpful people along the way. <laughs> In hell. There are nice people everywhere if you look hard enough. Good luck, Holly. You too. I hope you find your sister. Oh, don't remind me. Bye, Alba. Mm -hmm.